and now Kotaku's How I Achieved Greatness on a Sonic the Hedgehog-themed bed. Sonic fans sometimes have a notorious reputation among the general internet populace that we're terribly annoying, way too demanding, and that we have an unwarranted sense of entitlement. As a fan, I can boldly proclaim that while all of that is 100% factual, in an opinion kind of way, I can also say that I'm the only Sonic fan, nay, the only gamer, to get a girl to sleep with me upon a bed of Sonic. I moved out of my parents' house at the ripe age of 20, and let me tell you something, it was the best move I've ever made. At home, I had rules and regulations on how I was to enjoy myself. Bringing girls to my room was a big no-no, so I did the only logical thing and hit the road. At my new place, I was a free man, a man who was free to decorate his room the way he felt a man cave should look, covered from head to toe in Sonic the Hedgehog memorabilia. Action figures still in their packaging lined the walls, a poster of Eddie LeBron's live-action fan film starring Jaleel White in the kitchen, and the cream of the crop, a giant Sonic the Hedgehog throw blanket with matching pillowcases on my bed. Now, one might look at such an apartment and immediately declare, this guy will never get laid. As a self-proclaimed ladies' man, I made it my job to disprove such a theory. I believe that any guy can land any kind of girl if he's both confident and true to himself, so when I found acting like a fool wasn't working, I decided it was time for a change. I tried online dating, checked out a few girls, and got checked out myself. One girl in particular was cute, funny, smart, and most notable in the context of this article, wasn't a nerd at all. Another thing that caught my eye, she had never dated a nerd before. We met up at a local Starbucks where we got to know each other over some coffee. Nothing big. There was definitely a mutual attraction going on, mostly because neither of us made the date out to be more than it was. I treated her like I would treat any of my friends, which made her feel really comfortable. She thought it was cool how I just did my own thing, and she was really interested in my comedy. I was confident about myself, and she instantly dug that. I invited her over to my apartment, and of course she wanted to see my bedroom. She broke out into hysterical laughter at my over-the-top Sonic the Hedgehog room, and I will admit I was a little embarrassed at first, but she was totally into it. She thought it was endearing in a way. We then had sex on the fabled Sonic the Hedgehog blanket, and it was good. Trust me, she wasn't the only one to enjoy his royal kaleness upon such luxuries. In fact, there were many others, which you can read about in my book, Slacker's Paradise. The truth is, if you're a nerd, geek, gamer, lamer, whatever, you can get the girl. Interests don't matter much in the end. The best way to get a girl interested is to be confident in yourself. Don't try so hard, and make sure they feel comfortable. Remember my golden rule, ABC, always be closing. My next goal is to decorate my room in My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic memorabilia, and see if my girlfriend doesn't make me sleep in the yard for a week. Once you get tied down, everything starts looking more and more like an episode of Everyone Loves Raymond. Chris Kale is a comedian, lifelong gamer, and author of the book Slacker's Paradise, the collective writings of an internet radio host. You can find him on Twitter under the name Dude Girls, and you can read all about his wacky antics on Kale's Big Time Burger Joint. But you really shouldn't! <laughs>